everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do a flip and drag on, maybe a flip, drag, and lip on. Um, and I am trying out a new pouring medium today. But first, let's go over my paints. Um, my first paint is a brick, excuse me, Blick Relic Turquoise. And my next paint is Again, Blick Relic Primary Yellow. And I am using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White today. My next paint is Deco Art Metallics Festive Red. And my next paint is Amsterdam Cobalt Blue. And my next paint is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. Okay, I do have a thin layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down with the pouring medium. Okay, my pouring medium is a new um, on the market. It's called Mix. And you mix seven parts of this mix with one part of the paint. And that's all I've done today. I haven't added anything else, no silicone nothing else. This is a new product and um, the company is www.carpata, that's K-A-R-P-A-T-A -A -A dot art. Um, two artists that uh, got together and came up with this uh, new mix for pour painting. So I'm going to give it a try. And you can add a few drops of water also to get your consistency, which I have done today. And let me show you consistency right away. It doesn't even leave a mound and not much of a trace either. But one thing I can say about this mix is it's very smooth, creamy, um, does not have a bad smell. Sometimes you get Floetrol and it's, it has a bad smell or it's real lumpy and you always have to strain it. Well, with this mix, I did not have to strain anything. And I can tell you that this is a 64 ounce um, bottle of this mix and the cost was $19.99 plus shipping. Now, I did watch um, Heather Mater's live last night and if you go to her channel, or if you go to Sarah Mack, that's M-A-C-K, Sarah Mack, um, they have uh, coupon codes that you can use if you're going to buy this mix for 10% off. So um, it would be worth it to visit their channels. And also they have been working with this mix and you can check out a couple of their pours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to fill three cups with my paints and then I'll bring you back and we can get started. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I've layered my three cups and this cup I went from dark on the bottom to lightest on top and this one I did the opposite, lightest on bottom to dark on top, but I did add a little white to that. And just to make a little contrast, and what I'm going to do is just run a stick through here just to mix it up pretty good. Because it was quite layered. And we can start with our... Uh, Tipping our cup over. There's one, two, and three. Okay, I'm gonna just let those sit there a little bit, drain down a little. Then this is just a plain old flip cup here. Thought I'd give it a try, hadn't done it in a while. Using this new um, pouring medium. See what we get. Again, I did not add any silicone to my paints. 
Okay, so let's see, let's do a drag on this one. Looks like I am getting some cells up on that. And the second cup, that's very pretty. I'm gonna do a little lip through that too in this one. Okay. Very pretty colors coming up. And then our last one. And I will do a lip through that too. Okay. And now I think I will torch it. And I am getting quite a few cells up here. And I think I'm going to just lip this a little bit more here, just to uh, give it a little bit more for the eye to look at, and possibly this one also. And we might as well do this again too here, just a little bit. Okay. And now I can start my tipping. I'll just tip it down first and then tip it back. Very, very colorful. And I have plenty of paint for this, this uh, canvas here. Just go over my edges. And I think I am going to just lip this one a little bit more right here before I do any more tipping. Maybe to bring up some of that darker purple. Okay. And now I'll come down this way with it. And over that edge. And over this edge. And I'm just going to take a look at it now. I think I am going to pull it back down this way a little bit. Straighten it out a little bit. And I really am like liking what I'm seeing here. I'm just going to check my edges here. Really, really pretty. Very, very happy with this medium. Okay, just taking a look at it here. I may just bring it down just a little bit. Very happy with it. There's not a whole lot I want to do with it. Just a little bit off there at the bottom. Okay, take another look.
just pull it this way a little bit and maybe try and just straighten it out a little bit there like that okay that is really really looking good I love the colors so much going on here and I will torch it again see what we get Again, this is just a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Maybe just tip it just a little bit, just a little bit this way. I just, I'm very, very happy with this. Just a lot going on. I think I will torch it lightly because I don't want to get many more cells up here. And there really is not, there's hardly any air bubbles at all to, to, to torch. Very, very smooth looking. Very happy with this. And I will bring you down for a close up. Okay, here we have the upper left hand corner and you're just going to see everything that's going on in this painting it's beautiful the stripes are just so crisp nice cells this is very interesting in here and I just the yellow is so vibrant with the red and right in here look at those stripes just great and again in here that's a nice area and with the purple cells purple and white cells that's pretty And again, the stripes just held so well. And then here is the lower right hand corner and look at the vibrancy of that red. That's so pretty in there. And I like how it, on this edge, they got the red got a little muted there towards the edge and that's pretty too. And then we're coming to the upper upper right hand corner so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video and subscribe if you haven't I will list that uh, company name of this new mix in my description so um, make sure you check that out if you're interested in purchasing it and until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.